Data journalism allows you to scale up an investigation, but it also requires that you look closely at the small print. Sometimes the information you need is in the details, and if so, you can't just analyze it overall. You have to check each contract one by one. Documents such as the signed tender award or bid specifications might just hold the answer to your questions. Unfortunately, we are usually dealing with horrible scanned PDFs. Imagine, for example, that you want to investigate a contract for a specific drug. Most of the time, these contracts provide us with information on the total expenditure, but not the individual price of the drugs, therapies or goods. And that's the key to discovering the real price your government is paying for something. Sometimes clues can be found in technical and administrative documents in the fine print. For example, you can divide the total price by the number of doses, thus obtaining the real price per dose. Additionally, another way to uncover information might be to examine the records of other levels of administration involved in the purchase or distribution. By goodwill or by mistake, they might have published the per unit price. To give you an example, for the first time we were able to reveal the price of Sobaldi in Spain by digging through various regional procurement portals. Knowing what price the government is going to pay for a vaccine or new treatment is great, but it is not enough if we don't have any context. What is happening in other countries? When we researched the prices paid by different governments for Sobaldi, the hepatitis C treatment, we work with colleagues in other countries to share the data and thus achieve a better, more complete view. So for the first time, we were able to discover and publish the price that seven countries were paying for this medicine by checking through hundreds of documents written in 18 different languages. And we discovered that France, for example, was paying more even though its minister claimed that they were paying the cheapest price in Europe. It's not usually easy to uncover information such as this. Pharmaceutical companies argue that they impose confidentiality clauses on governments in order to offer lower prices to low-income countries. However, thanks to procurement data, we were able to compare the prices paid to purchase drugs in the seven different countries. And we discovered that it's not true that the price is proportional to a country's wealth. The, there are other aspects that influence negotiations, such as the volume of the order or the fact that governments, unaware of what's going on around them, thanks to opacity, negotiate blind. And what's about costly new treatments such as CAR-T therapies? The situation is even more problematic, but thanks to public procurement data, we have been able to reveal how much the, go the Spanish government is paying for them. To uncover the true cost of Kimbria, Thibia obtained three different public contracts that feature the same unit price. And that's just for the medicine. Imagine a major contract for the construction of a hospital, where years after building, lots of construction problems arise. You can check the technical information to find out if the company did the job and the administration raised objections. The same applies to other public works and services contracts. The devil is in the details.